Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we're working on the 1976 Williams Grand Prix and we are taking this lockdown bar off. Why you ask? Why are you taking your lockdown bar off, Mark? It's because it's all nasty and corroded. So I am going to give it a citric acid bath with water. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get these nuts off. Get these off, and we're going to lay them down on the bottom here, out of the way. Let me get my magnet. I can see this one's going to be a pain right here. And this one. This lockdown bar is just too nasty looking on here, so. We are going to just make it gone, clean it all up, I'm going to just screw it here, and I believe there's one on this side. That's it, look at that, the citric acid and water will clean that up. The fuck's the clunker? We'll clean that up really good. And then we'll re lube it all up so it works real good. So let's get the camera into the other room so we can give it a bath. Alright, we got the citric acid here. And I'll show you. That's it, just citric acid. I think this was five pounds yeah five pounds I bought it off eBay I can't remember what I paid for it I'm probably putting I don't know maybe a quarter cup of powder in here and I'm gonna fill it up with hot water and then throw the part in there. So that's about how much powder I put in. Not a lot. The reason why I'm using hot water is because hot water just penetrates better than cold water. The molecules move around faster. Okay. Yeah, hot water molecules just move around a lot faster. So we will just drop this in. We might have to add more citric acid to it. And we might not have to. I don't see it doing anything yet. 
The citric acid usually works pretty quick. Well, not really quick, but usually we'll start getting a little bubble reaction off of it. So that just means I'll add a little more. That's enough. There we go. I can see it bubbling now. I will probably leave this sit on there for maybe an hour or so. Yeah, it's working now. I can see it bubbling. Let me see if I can get you closer. You can see it bubbling right there. There's citric acid eating the rust and crap off the metal. So I'm actually going to move this because I'm drying my clothes right now. I'll move this on the floor. And I will go back to working on some other stuff on the Grand Prix. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Kind of looks like actually smoke underwater, but you can actually smell that stuff and it does not smell that good. So, I will take this and put it on the floor. And then I'm going to go back to doing some other stuff on the Grand Prix. So, let's come back in about an hour, which will be a second for you. Alright, we are back with this bar. Sorry for the dehumidifier noise. Let me just turn it off. Okay, we are back. And then we got the fan on too. We are back with this bar. I want to show you something. Yeah, it still looks rusty, doesn't it? However, look at that. It rubs right off. Look at that. Rubs right off. Pretty cool, huh? Let me get this in the sink. Ugh. I gotta move that real slow so it doesn't do a wave and splash me. Try to get you over there. All right, let's wash this off. Let's wash my hands off first. I just rebuilt the stepper. The ball, the player stepper on the Grand Prix. So today, if you're watching this video, I did a little bit on the score motor. Um, vacuuming the board a little bit, how I vacuum it, how I rebuilt the stepper, um, and this lockdown bar. This is my toothbrush I used it this morning. But, like I said, I always wash it off real good. So that way I can use it at night and in the morning and also for cleaning parts. coming off real nice. Look at that. Remember how nasty it was? How rusty it was? It still got a little etched, you know, to it. You know, from when it was, um, the rust had etched into the material, the metal. But, as far as I'm concerned, it's clean now. Very clean. Look at that, it's amazing, huh? Now 
Now I'll wash this off later after I'm done with this video so I can brush my teeth with it. But anyways, this is all cleaned up now. Don't see any more rust on it that I gotta worry about. But that's clean up, put back in the machine after it dries. We'll just let that dry off and it's ready to go back in the machine. But look at that. That's my buddy Tim. Got me hooked on the citric acid and look at that job it does. Perfect. There you go. So once it's dry, we'll put it back in the machine. And that will probably be in a couple seconds for you. Alright, let's get this lockdown bar back on. As you can see, it's beautiful again. Just beautiful again. So let's get this puppy back on where it belongs. It's pretty easy, it's just the reversal of what it was. Two screws and what three bolts we'll leave that one just a little loose so we can get this one out these nuts back in. It does got to move up and down just a little bit. These go right through here. Washer. And bolt. Just get that one started. Do you ever find yourself when you're trying to get a, a screw started or a bolt started that you just realize you got your tongue hanging out of your mouth or you, you just feel like you're making a stupid face? I was just doing that on this one. I had my tongue stuck out funny to the side. I just realized, Mark, you are making a dumb face. Now these um, bolts that I put in actually hold the coin door frame on. So they are like kind of keyed bolts. They got a, a hex end on them so they can't spin. Two pairs of glasses. How you clean up a locked down bar assembly. Ta da! I want to tell you something that nobody else knows. These screws are uh, just. Oh, this is pitched inside. Now you know. No. Um, these screws, when you turn them, it will just how tight the, the clamp is. 
for the lockdown bar sometimes you can feel that they're they move up and down a little bit when they're closed if you tighten these screws and you turn them down it will actually take the lockdown bar show you see now it's real tight it has no wiggle to it if this would lift up a little bit when it was locked you, you screw those screws down just a little bit each time and then put the bar back down and lock it so if you got it locked and it wiggles a little bit like this chances are those screws are up too high get her down like that and you want to snug there mine I could do a little adjustment on it see I thought I had a lock but it wasn't oh yeah no I actually like it like that this side yep yeah, they're both good so yeah I, you can do that nears out of the notches right there there's one notch there there's a notch there and that's what those screws do the rod that engages these notches the lever actually it will raise and lower that so that's another little trick you just learned today anyways Give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, check out the video description for any more extra info that may be provided, and um, yeah, follow us on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade too. Later!